am I going to do with all that stuff? I wonder where I left... Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Mask Fan Attic, all you mask fans. I'm Dr. Lady, the other mask fanatic. And of course, here in the attic, the Attic Above Horror Hotel, to be specific, each week I like to give you a, a look at an interesting old monster mask for all you Halloween enthusiasts and mask collectors and horror fans out there. A cool old mask that might have slipped through the cracks of history and, and been forgotten in the depths of time and space because they don't make it anymore. So for example, look what I just happened to find up here tonight, conveniently within a close camera range, a Don Post. Mummy 5000 BC. That's the name of it. Mummy 5000 BC. And makes an excellent hand puppet too, which of course is one of the things I like about it. Look at that. Check that out. Yeah, you'd pay for that, wouldn't you? Sure you would. I would. I did. This is like the third one I've had over the years. Now, uh, this guy first came out in the 1970s. I'm going to guess 76. I think that's the year he came out. Uh, Mummy 5000 BC was uh, Don Post Studios' answer to the movie Mummy uh, because after uh, the rights to all the famous movie monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, Mummy, Creature, Phantom, Mr. Hyde, etc., after their contract ran out, uh, they tried to uh, fill the gap with some interesting takes on similar themes. So instead of the Mummy from the movies, there was this guy, uh, which as you can see, was sculpted to look like it's got rotting, nasty, filthy strips of burlap or hessian cloth, as it's sometimes called, stuck all over it, and, uh, and more of a skull face. And I've always thought this was just a great, great mask, a fantastic sculpture, very dramatic and spooky and has a lot of, uh, a lot of character, a lot of dramatic power, I think. And, the first version uh, from back in the 70s was very high quality, usually poured in black latex and sponge painted, stipple painted, with uh, the brown and gray. Uh, then it was re-released in the mid 80s, I think around 84, uh, it just called Mummy. And it had lost the 5000 BC part and was just Mummy. Then it, later on, uh, it was reissued again as Mummy 5000 BC as a retro edition, which I believe was in the year 2000, uh, that, that season. And that's not even counting the other variations on it, like in the early 80s there was one that had uh, almost this same sculpture, but it had a fluorescent neon red snake added to it, sort of coming out of the mouth and coiled around part of the head. But um, I never liked the snake version as much as the plain um, original Mummy 5000 BC. Now this particular copy, which you see here uh, sharing the frame with me, this particular one is part of the 2000 Retro Edition when they re-released some, uh, some of their oldies from the 70s in the year, I think, 2000. Maybe 2001? I think it was 2000. Well, it was in that general neighborhood somewhere. Anyway, Mummy 5000 BC. And by the way, if you're the kind of uh, person who only collects masks that were used in movies and you think they're disqualified if they're not movie monsters, this is actually a movie monster too. Because in 1979, a terrible movie, a movie that curdles milk, it's so bad, called The Day It Came to Earth, was created, unleashed, uh, produced and directed, slapped together, by uh, a man named Harry Thomason, who was a big Bill Clinton supporter and who also directed uh, movies called uh, So Sad About Gloria and uh, Revenge of Bigfoot. Um, classics all. Uh, and, uh, and the same director later went on to produce and direct television programs like Designing Women and The Fall Guy and uh, even Emerald and a lot of other things. But um, in the movie, uh, the day it came to Earth, that title makes you think it's about an alien invasion, but it isn't re even really about that. A meteor falls into a lake where some gangsters have just dumped uh, the dead body of a fellow gangster that they, uh, you know, hit, that they executed uh, gangland style. And up out of the water, because the, the radiation from the meteor is in there, up out of the water comes a guy in a coat and a Don Post Mummy 5000 BC. 
and uh, he then proceeds to chase some teenagers around an old house until a respectable running time has been reached and then it ends. Um, truly terrible movie in just about every way but it is uh, fun in a nostalgic way to see a mummy 5000 from Don Post chasing teenagers around a house in the dark. Uh, I never understood why in the movie people say, oh, it was a horrible thing, it wasn't even human, I can't even describe it, when in real life you'd say, ah, I had a head like a skull. You know, you might say, was a guy in a coat and a skull mask? Might be what you'd say in reality. But anyway, look for the day it came to Earth if you want to see the Don Post Mummy 5000 BC in action, and by action I mean not really hurting anybody or doing anything, just frightening some kids and uh, a great mask and one that I hope they will uh, eventually release in a deluxe collector edition uh, the retro series were not really high-end collector pieces they were just ordinary uh, Halloween masks and I believe this one sold for neighborhood of 35 to 40 dollars okay so look for it online or at your favorite costume shop or uh, from your favorite eBay mask dealer Look for the Mummy 5000 BC, a cool mask creeping around up here in the Mask Fan Attic. And we'll see you again next time with another creepy mask.